Hey there everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can utilize the camera and the save photo libraries in an app. So basically, it's going to be using the functionality of the camera so that you can click it and can import that in a view as well as some of the saved images that you can import in your views. So in case you might have noticed, I have become super active nowadays on the YouTube. And that is because I'm actually getting free nowadays and uh, I have just finished a couple of big heavy projects. Didn't got the credit for that, but pay was good. Uh, so I have finished those projects and nowadays I'm just taking the boot camps on the iOS. And in the free time, I just like to roam around on the YouTube and Netflix. So I saw a lot of comments that people are facing a lot of problem with iOS 10. And I'm somehow feeling that iOS 10 is far more easier than the iOS 8 actually. So... I'm just here sharing a lot of videos. So in case you request me to some of the special kind of videos, feel free. I'm just free out there to help you out. Helping the students is the best thing that you can do. I just like it. I just like it. <laughs> okay, so let's get started out here. So what we need to do to import a super awesome functionality of the camera. And believe me, camera is super easy in the iOS. So let's click on the file, new project, and uh, we need to shift this guy here so that you can see it as well. I hope you can see that now. Okay, single view application, and let's call this as photo demo. Nice name, I know. And we don't need core data, we won't be using that. It's gonna be pure focused video on camera and saved photo library. Next, you can save it anywhere, I don't care. This project is eventually gonna go into the trash because it's not worth it. It's just about displaying the functionality, not polishing the things. Okay, main storyboard, there you are. I think we should utilize more space. Yes, I feel so. So, ta-da-da, and there we go. And believe me, all of my bootcamp students actually know all of these stuff because this is so easy for them and especially when I try to teach, I try to make sure that I teach everything in the easiest manner out there, step by step, of course. So this is our view controller. Looks good. I cannot bear with this white screen. So can I change this color? Actually, will you allow, allow me to that? Background, what we can do, bring this guy here. And uh, nope, uh, this is gonna work. Okay, now, we need first of all let's put into a navigation bar so navigation bar so let's just call this navigation bar and place it somewhere here and uh, let's call this as camera our photos our photo library whatever you like to call that and let's try to pin it from the top and uh, left and right as well add these constraints and uh, I think I should change the color of this. I don't like the blue. Okay. Yep, uh, like that. Nope, nope. And you might be thinking, why this guy is playing with that? I like to play with the images and the colors. This is good actually, no problem with that. Now we need a button, so I'll search for the butt again. <laughs> and uh, this time we need a navigation uh, bar button item. So let's just drag and drop this guy here and uh, we would like to call this as camera. Nice camera button in the blue. Looks good. And we also need an image view so that we can just place our image out there. This is gonna look good here. Let's pin it from the top, add this constraint. And in fact, let's pin it from the left as well, not from the right. And uh, let's make it center from the horizontal. And uh, should I pin it from the right as well? Let me hit the Command Z a couple of times because I think this constraint is not gonna work. So let's just try to pin it from the top only. Or let me show you one more thing instead of that. So let me just dismiss that. And hold down your Control key and just drag it to the top. And press down your Shift key and uh, we want uh, vertical spacing. We want center horizontal and uh, let's just add these constraints. Okay, so these two are good. Good actually. And uh, what else we want? 
Ah, there is a good way. Let's just resize it to suggested constraint so that okay, x and y or the width. So you can just give it an x position or maybe a width. Width would be a good option, but I'll just auto layout, you know. I'm lazy. Okay, looks good. And what else we need? We need to now link it. So press down your option key and click on the view controller and this opens up. Again, this is a shortcut. A lot of people just like to do it with the click of that, you know. The, what should I call it? Although this is assistant editor, but some people call it as Olympic rings. And that some people is me. So <laughs> uh, let's just delete that. Okay, I don't like that. So we need a couple of things. First of all, we need an image view. So let's just drag and drop it here and call this as image view. There we go, looks good. And we need an action from this camera. So instead of outlet, click on the action and let's call this as camera tippy tippy tabbed. Looks good. And there we go, looks good. Let's go back here. Now the very first thing when you use the camera is you might have seen that permission thing that says we want to access your photos, we want to access your cameras. Give that nasty permission. It is required, otherwise your app is gonna crash. So go to the info.playlist. On the top we want to add something. Yep. And look for the privacy. And I know privacy is kind of a fun nowadays but still we have to do that. And what should I do? Uh, I'm looking for the photo library usage. In case you are gonna use the camera, make sure you assign the permission for camera as well, photo library, save photos, whatever you want to wish. The procedure of using the camera and photo library is exactly the same, just one keyword got changed out there. So we will just try first of all with the photo library usage, then we will move on to the camera. So this is good. Now. This is the permission, what message you might want to give to the user goes here. So it's something like this. We want to access uh, your photos to give it to NSA. <laughs> I don't believe I did this, but <laughs> it's, it's, I didn't plan for that, but this happened. We want to access your photos to give it to the NSA. Okay, <laughs> so this is good. Now let's go back to the view controller. Okay, so how do we access the camera? Now what will happen? Now first of all, you might want to go into the view did load and you might want to create an object. So let image picker, this is going to be an object of UI image picker controller. There we go. This is compulsory. You need to do this every single time. And also, I should actually, I have done this wrong. This should be not inside the view did load. This is wrong. This should be outside the view did load. This is gonna be required by a lot of functions, so it need to be out there. Now here, what we can say is image picker hmm, dot delegate is equals to self. There we go, easy peasy. Looks good, now it's gonna yell us and it's gonna say you are not following the protocol. And in case you don't know, the view controller is actually getting inherited from the UI view controller and it can inherit from one class. Whatever the rest thing that you put after comma are protocols. In case you don't know, what is that? You need to brush up your Swift skills, still, okay. Now let's see what it's yelling up. It's yelling that you are not following the two protocols. What are those two protocols? Let's just see that here. Ta -da -da, there we go. The one is the UI picker view controller delegate and the second is UI navigation controller delegate. I know, big names, nobody remembers them. You don't need to, you just need to remember that you need a UI image picker view controller, that's it. Everything else is gonna fall eventually, so it's pretty easy. Now let's just see what happens. So UI image picker controller delegate, one is done. The next one is UI navigation controller delegate. I'm hitting the tab by the way. You can hit the enter if you're seeing that directly on the list. Up to you. So it has now stopped yelling. That is good sign. Good sign. Okay. Now what we need to do. Okay, so once the camera is tabbed, now the very first thing that you might want to do is uh, to tell that what kind of source you might want to use. 
So let's just do that. So image picker dot source type. And here's the word, the magical word that allows you to use camera, photo library, whatever you wish to. So just put a dot and there we go. Three options, camera, photo library or save photo. I think I have given the permission for photo library. I'm not sure, but I think I've done that. Let's just see that what I've given. Yep, a photo library usage. So we have given access to the photo library. Okay, so first of all, it's gonna say my source is photo library. Go to there. And once it will actually go there, now we want to present a navigation controller by which you can go. So let's just see how we can do that. So it's simply present, put a bracket, and there we go. This is the one we are looking for. View controller to present, enter. Now I've already said my view controller is image picker view controller. So, or image picker controller, not view controller. So I'm gonna say, I want to present image picker. Animation, why not? True. What you want to do when this actually completes? You can write a block of code, but I'm gonna say nil right now. We don't need that. This is a simple application. Cool, pretty cool, you know? Now, what do you want to do? Now, this is actually camera tapped is only responsible for seeing the source and just presenting that navigation controller out there. Now, once you're finished with the selecting, then you have to call another function. And uh, it simply says that I'm done with the picking of the image. I'm done finishing with that. So you have to say did finish picking media with info. Look for that. Now don't look for the image picker controller. Don't ever search for that. This is not a way to remember the things. Always look for what you want to do. Like in this case, I want to simply say, did fi finish picking images with info, like that. So hit enter. Now you can notice it just returns back an info object. Not object, but let's just say. It returns an info, which is actually a dictionary of string of any object. String and any object, string as key. That is good. So what we can do is simply I can define an object. I can simply say let image is gonna be equal to, and uh, with the info, it it just gets a lot of objects out there, and we just want to access one of them. And that is UI image picker controller original image. There are a lot of options. Hit the control and space. Uh, there we go. And we have a lot of options like crop rectangle, media URL, live photos, media type, I'm gonna look for the original image right now. You know, it's basics, it's on YouTube, it's not on the bootcamp, uh, how bad am I, <laughs> okay? So, this is good. So now our object or our photo is saved into a new object, which is an image, that is good. But now we want to assign this image to our, the image view as well. So what we can say is image, view dot image and it's simply gonna be an image it's surely gonna yell at me save that come on yell at me yeah there we go it's simply saying that we need to typecast that that's it and uh, ui image there we go fix no big deal and there we go this is good but there is a problem and you will not remember this problem if I'll tell you here, here at this point. So let's just run this application and let me show you what the problem is. So iPhone 7, run that. Why iPhone 7? Because my simulator is already running. You know, this giant simulator is actually a big deal. So gray looks good. You know, my favorite. And hit the camera. Here we go, photo demo, and it says, we want to access your photos to give it to NSA. I can't believe that I did that. Click on okay, there we go, camera roll, select that, but here's the problem. We have actually introduced the, uh, we have actually said that present the image picker view controller, but we haven't actually dismissed that. You know, my bad. But this is actually the problem. And I think somehow uh, when the object is being selected, it it should dismiss that, but you know, if you want to edit the photos, it could be a problem. So everything is good on that place. So let's just stop this. And let's just dismiss that. Dismissing it is really simple. What you want to discuss, dismiss, image picker dot dismiss, animated, why not? True, completion, nil, there we go. Now it is fixed and it's good now. Run that for me. 
and there we go somehow there we go there we go our app hit the camera it's this time it's not gonna ask for permission because it has already got permitted moments and uh, what should we select i think this waterfall is gonna look good there we go looks good now you have learned how to access the images out there now how do we access the camera so in case you have an iphone just connect it with the cable out there there is a, some certification issues but you will manage that it's just an easy process and instead of this guy photo library all you have to say is camera there we go you have converted that same application into a camera usage pretty simple pretty obvious but i'm gonna hit command z because this is gonna say photo library only and you won't be having the exercise file access i know so there is no sense of changing that okay so i think this video was good pretty informative you enjoyed a lot because i enjoyed a lot making them so do notify me in the comment section below and see you out there in next youtube video